is the mayor of Dubrovnik and one of Croatia's top tourist destinations. Good to have you with us, man. Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak with you. So many parts of Europe are right now in the grip of this heat wave and consequently, consequent, consequentially, you are seeing major summer storms and wildfires. Just give us a sense of what Croatia is experiencing. Croatia is uh, in good shape. Uh, we have uh, very uh, good organized uh, fire brigades and uh, you can see that within two days uh, the fire uh, near Šibenik is uh, already under control. Uh, so we are really very proud of our fire brigades. Of course that we are facing like for Europe uh, high temperatures but this is normal during the summertime. It's not something that's uh, not expected. So I could say uh, that uh, really everyone that comes in Dubrovnik uh, can enjoy in the city. We have beautiful beaches with a lot of shades so uh, they can uh, take a, a swim uh, all day long. And uh, the, good, uh, the good information is that the temperature of the sea is around 24 degrees Celsius. So we are uh, really, uh, I would say, going in a good direction. And of course that uh, we recommend to all of the tourists that are coming to our city uh, to rather use uh, afternoon hours to visit uh, all attractions uh, within the city of Dubrovnik. The good thing about the city of Dubrovnik is that uh, facing back 2017 and overcrowdedness, uh, now you have completely other uh, situation. Dubrovnik is fully sustainable city. There are no more crowds. Uh, really everything well, is very well organized. So we can say that uh, the ones that are uh, coming to, to Dubrovnik can uh, really fully enjoy in the city. Of course, across the country, in Croatia, you just had the wettest May on record, a record amount of rainfall. Talk to us about how climate change is impacting Croatia and the weather solutions, the, the climate proofing that Croatia is investing in. Because I understand in terms of carbon footprint, Croatia is, is one of the best in Europe, has one of the lowest carbon footprints. Uh, talk to us about the solutions. Yeah, Croatia is really investing uh, a lot in uh, sustainable uh, economy, uh, sustainability in every step you can feel in Croatia. Uh, climate change are, uh, are visible throughout the world, actually. Uh, so we really did have uh, May, uh, which was uh, with a lot of rain. Uh, unexpected uh, number of days of uh, rain. This definitely uh, influenced uh, even in tourism because, of course, uh, the ones that were coming to the city uh, or to the Croatia were not so satisfied because they were expecting uh, good weather and uh, instead they got a lot of rainy days. Uh, but uh, I think uh, the, the future uh, of um, all of the countries is uh, more and more renewable uh, sources of uh, energy, less and less gas pollution. And this is something that Croatia can say uh, freely, uh, it can be proud of uh, achievements that uh, we did achieve uh, throughout last uh, 15 years. And uh, we are really, really sustainable country uh, with a lot of uh, nature reserves, uh, with a lot of uh, uh, really um, proof of uh, good uh, solutions considering renewable energy sources. And Mayor, in terms of the extreme heat that we're seeing, uh, the flooding that we've just been talking about and the wildfires, uh, what is Croatia doing to help those most vulnerable? Because we know many homes in the US have air conditioning. That's not necessarily the case in much of Europe. Uh, Mediterranean uh, climate, it, uh, I could say it's a uh, me melt climate. Uh, the construction of the houses, uh, the houses are done on that way, uh, so that uh, actually uh, we have a normal climate uh, within our own uh, houses, uh, which is very important. Majority of the houses uh, in the Mediterranean part of uh, Croatia uh, are actually made of stone. Uh, and uh, they uh, they are from ye uh, for years uh, made uh, like that exclusively because of the high heats and the high temperatures because then they keep houses uh, calmer. Uh, all of the houses uh, are equipped uh, with air condition and I can say that uh, on the example of the city of Dubrovnik, 
we are now uh, paying uh, to the citizens of the uh, Brovnik and giving them opportunity uh, to take a part of their bill in order to build uh, on their house uh, uh, rechargeable sources uh, of uh, energy, energy using uh, sun collectors. Uh, so step by step, I think uh, we can flow in fully uh, sustainable, not just city, but fully sustainable country. Some, some positive solutions moving in the right direction to address some of these climate concerns. 